what is the mentality that when you get, all right, you got 20, you got 30, I'm going 40, now I'm going 50, now I'm going 60. I was in New York when you got the 60. I'm sitting here watching it and I'm like, yo, he's not stopping. He don't look like he want to stop. He either. still want to yeah. get 100 if he can. Like, where does that mentality come from? Well, you see most guys, 30, 40, and they kind of chill out like, all right, I got this. Yeah, no, I, 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 it's a competition. My, my mission is to destroy you. It's, it's not, you know, I mean, like, I don't say, you know, like, we're playing, I'm, I'm not stopping at 30. Like, I'm, I'm keep going until you figure out something else to do. That New York game, I knew Tony's philosophies are never to double a guy that's hot because he always thinks they're gonna cool off eventually, yeah. right? So I understood that. So once I got rolling, I knew that was gonna be the case. But like Andrew Bynum, we just lost the game four. Yeah. He got an injury against Memphis, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, we just lost to the Celtics in 08. We think we got Andrew, it's gonna make a big difference for us. Now he goes down, we don't know how long he's gonna be out for. The team was a little deflated. I was pissed off, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like, no, we're winning the championship this year, come hella high water. And my guys were down. Yeah. And going into New York, big game, I said, all right, I gotta send the message to my guys and say, no, listen, we're doing this. Yeah. I understand it's hard, you went down, but damn it, we're getting it done. Yeah. So it was important to get into that mind frame of no, nothing matters and I don't wanna talk to nobody. I don't wanna see no celebrities on the sideline. Don't dat me, don't say hi to me. I don't care about none of y'all tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just focus. That was it. One of your moments, my favorite moments of you is uh, you come off the bench for the Lakers and you make the all-star team. You playing, I think it's Madison Square Garden, yeah. and you playing against the Bulls, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Like that was one of the best All Star games I ever seen in the history of the game. Like, what was I want to know how you felt about like that moment? You you going against your idol, mm -hmm. who's on the other team? You you get a chance to you thinking that Eddie Jones and Nick Van Exel and Shaq they automatically finna make the right. All Star game and. Right you make it too, to be a part of that, that yeah. group. Like, what did that moment like feel for you? It was, it was a huge honor. I like, mean, you see the votes tallying up, and you're like, wait a minute, I'm a starter on this team? I only started my own team, right. you know? And like, it became very serious to me because I didn't want to make it seem like I was just some bubblegum player. Yeah. Popularity got me in there. It was like, well, hold on, no, I can hoop. You yeah. know, so I wanted to <laughs> prove like, no, I belong here sort of thing. And uh, you know, the hype of going up against Mike, it was, uh, okay. Let's go, show me. Like I've been watching you play my whole life. Yeah. Show me, like I wanna see this. Everybody calling you black Jesus and all this other crap. Yeah. Like you have to show me, man. And yeah. I went out there and we went head up. And you know, I think his respect and appreciation for me really grew that day because you saw on the biggest stage, I didn't shy away from that confrontation. I looked forward to that confrontation. Yeah, you look forward to and it. Uh, you know, George Carl, which you know, later in years became my motivation when we played against Denver to never let them win the playoff series because he didn't play me the whole fourth quarter that game. I remember that. <laughs> See I what I'm saying? Because me games. and Mike went at it, yeah. you know, for three quarters. And then in the fourth quarter, the crowd's yeah. waiting for me to get back in there. He benches me the whole fourth. I remember that. And it was like, okay. Every okay. time I see you, you getting this work. It's on site. <laughs> it's on site. So when <laughs> we played you know, the Denver Nuggets shit. in the playoffs, it was like, hold on, yo, you're never, you will never, Beat me in the playoff series. <laughs> all, all your <laughs> got you to blame for this. I think the All Star game in general needs a little revamping because it used to be competitive. Yeah, it used to be competitive, and like you know, fans want to see the best pickup game in the world. Yeah. Like, that's what this is. They don't yeah. want to see you running up and down and dunking and doing all this crazy. Like they want to see the what happens when you get this collection of best basketball players on the planet and they play and they go head up against each other. Man. Yeah. I mean, you guys play harder at a pickup game in UCLA. For real. Yeah, and ain't do. billions of people watching. For real. Definitely do. You know what I'm saying? Definitely do. They um, got turn so the All-Star game needs a little, needs a little changing. Um, I always love competing in them. Um, I didn't lose many of them. Nah, me and CP one, used to nah, talk all the time. Like, hold on. You took it serious. Yeah, yeah. We, we went in. Like, I don't think me and CP, when we played together in the All-Star game, I don't think we've ever lost a game. Yeah. And we okay. used to look at each other and say, okay. Oh, serious. They go. don't want to play, we gonna yeah, play. Yeah, fourth quarter, let's yeah. go get them. Yeah. <laughs>